Welcome back to Dreaming with Neopets. Last tutorial, we talked about how to feed your pets and how to keep them happy. Today, we're going to talk about painting, transforming, and zapping your pets to get rare pet colors and species. Painting is the most fundamental way to change the appearance of your Neopet. Neopets come in four basic colors, but they're also available in a huge amount of more rare colors. Some are simple, like pink, orange, or shadow and others are more elaborate, like fairy or zombie. One way to give your Neopet a rare color is by using an item called a paintbrush. Paintbrushes are not sold in any Neopets and PC shops. Instead, they are added to Neopets through random events by getting lucky on one of Neopets dailies, or through gambling Nurkmans at the Alien Aisha vending machine. All new players should participate in dailies, which I'll make a more detailed video about in the future. However, it's quite rare to get a paintbrush from them and gambling Nurk mids is very expensive and not advised for new players especially. I'll make a video about that in the future as well. The most common way to find the paintbrush you want is by searching the Neopets user shops, trades, and auctions. You can look at all the available paintbrushes by going to items.jellyneo.net and searching for paintbrush. If you already know what color you want your pet to be, you can just type that. My boyfriend wants a spotted loop, so let's search for a spotted paintbrush. Right now, Jelly Neo estimates that it costs 2.5 million Neo points, but we can get a more accurate price by checking the user shops. Notice what happens when we try and click the shop wizard button. None are available. That's because items worth more than 1 million Neo points cannot be sold in the user shops. We will need to check the trading post instead. It looks like the spotted paintbrush is worth about what Jelly Neo is saying. My boyfriend obviously doesn't have that right now, and you probably don't either. Painting your pet can be one of many potential goals to try and play and reach, and usually people's first goal when starting to play. To demonstrate how painting works, we did get a couple of paintbrushes with our newbie pack. Let's try that out. As you can see, if you click on a paintbrush in your inventory, it doesn't have an option to paint the pet. Paintbrushes are special items that can be only used at the Rainbow Pool, located in Neopia Central. If you have a paintbrush in your inventory and you have a pet that is available in that color, you'll see this drop-down menu. My boyfriend's going to try this out with one of the basic paintbrushes he got with his starter kit to demonstrate how it works. However, this change could be expensive to reverse, so only do this if you actually want to change the basic color of your pet. Now we can see that Just Lupe Fiasco has become green. I think my boyfriend might like him better as red, so let's change him to that. Another way you can change the appearance of your pet is to buy a morphing potion or a transmogrification potion. These will not only change the color of your pet, but will change the species of your pet as well. This can be one way to get limited edition pets that are only available on their pet day. Sometimes, morphing potions are cheaper than a paintbrush, so it's always worth checking to see if your dream pet has a morphing potion available on items.jellyneo.net. Let's go ahead and see if there's a spotted loop morphing potion available. There is, and it looks like the spotted loop morphing potion is going to be cheaper than the paintbrush. Let's double check by checking the trading post. Doesn't look like anyone is selling one right now, so it seems like getting a spotted paintbrush is going to be our best bet. Let's keep that in mind. Transmogrification potions are special because they change your pets into mutants, and mutants don't have a paintbrush. My boyfriend is interested in getting a mutant loop someday, so he shouldn't waste any time looking for a loop transmogrification potion. It looks like the loop transmogrification potion is going for about 4 million right now, so that's another item that he can put on his list of goals. Some pet colors are mostly only available through other means. Snot, burlap, and robot are just a few examples of pet colors that can mostly only be obtained through the secret laboratory ray. The location of the ray can be unlocked by assembling all nine pieces of the secret laboratory map. You can get these in random events or through dailies, but you can also try to buy them through user shops. 
The hard part is that all nine pieces have the same name, so searching for a specific piece can be a little hard. Many people sell the complete set on the trading post. Whenever I've been forced to start a new Neopets account, unlocking the lab ray is usually the first thing I try to do. Once unlocked, you can use it to zap one of your pets once per day. Usually, nothing happens, but occasionally, the lab ray will change your pet's stats, gender, species, or color. I got my malevolent sentient Poogle plushie by zapping with the lab ray, which is a lab exclusive color. If you have a Chia, you can use magical Chia Pops to change your Chia into various Chia exclusive fruit and vegetable colors. These are useless on any pet that isn't a Chia, so if you really need a pet eggplant, you need to get a Chia and a magical aubergine Chia Pop. Don't waste these by feeding them to your non-Chia pets, as it will consume the item without doing anything, and they're worth quite a lot. You can also change pets by using plushie items that are magical, as playing with these items will change your pet into the species that matches the toy. While some people might want their dream of getting a croc with a magical blue croc plushie, it would be a huge bummer to accidentally play with this toy on a pet you've already painted, so pay attention to magical plushies. Another way to change the colors of your pet is to be granted access to the rainbow fountain. You can get this by doing a quest for the Fountain Fairy, or sometimes the Grey Fairy, as the Grey Fairy randomly rewards you with the magic of another fairy. Fairy quests are given out randomly and rarely while browsing the site, but if you spend Neocash on a Fairy Fortune Cookie, you can get a random Fairy Quest once per day. You can also get a random Fairy Quest once per day during the Fairy Festival, which happens at the end of September or early October. Once you have access to the Rainbow Fountain, the Fountain Fairy will allow you to change your pet into any color except for colors that are exclusive to the Lab Ray, as well as a few others. There's also an exclusive secret avatar for using the Fountain Fairy quest to change a buzz into a different color. So if you collect avatars, be sure to use that first Fountain quest to get that. My boyfriend actually got a Fountain Fairy quest when he was participating in the Fairy Festival, which is how he was able to paint Bone Dungeon as well as his new galert, Glomlock. The final way to transform pets is a benefit given to premium players. This is one of the best reasons to buy Neopets Premium. This premium perk allows you to change the species of one of your pets once per year. You can't change your pet into a croc or drake. The magic here is that pets retain their color. So if you have a baby blue maru and turn it into a skeeth, it will be a baby skeeth. But what happens when you try and change a pet into another species that doesn't come in that color? Only Chia's can be Apple, so what happens when you try to change an Apple Chia into a Skeeth? It lets you pick any color and species, including Labray exclusive colors. This is the easiest way to get Snot, Burlap, Robot, and all Labray exclusive colors. You just have to be smart about getting the cheapest pet in a color that is not available in the pet you want. Going to neocolors.me.uk slash premium is a tool that can help you figure out what to paint or transform your pet into to make the best use of your premium perk. But be careful, as this tool is not always kept up to date, so double check that that pet is not available in that color before you invest in morphing potions to get it. I'm curious to know, what are some of your dream pets? Comment below and like and subscribe to help support Dreaming with Neopets and I'll see you next time, whenever I feel like it.